Hey YouTube, this is the Death Scouter and today we're making another video. And today we are on a 2006 Jeep Commander that does not have a tr tow hitch installed. And through the gods of Amazon, we have ordered a tow hitch uh, for the surprisingly low price of about uh, like 70 bucks, I think. And uh, today I'm going to show you how we go about installing this. And the neat thing about this is that this should really be a fast install. You'll notice that it comes with four uh, holes that are already threaded. And those are going to match up perfectly here. If we get down behind the car, kind of turn ourselves around and look up underneath the bumper. Holes that are pre-existing in the frame. See those? So what we're going to do, this is all this this piece of uh, this molding clip is missing, but this one's in the, is in place. What we're going to do is we're going to pry this out. I have a tool for that. We're going to do that in a second, so that we can push the plastic bumper skirt away and free up enough gap between the bumper and the frame of the truck for us to push this trailer hitch assembly in here and position it with the holes and screw it all back together um, in the pre-drilled, pre-threaded holes. So it should be a very fast install. And then what I'm going to do in a, in a second video is we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the wiring harness um, and of course we'll reattach the the pins here for the bumper guards. Alright, so uh, first thing we're going to do is get out from underneath the car and take it to the All next right. step. So here we go, let's go with a quick start of the tools we're going to use. Um, first of all, uh, one of the steps we need to do is to lower the spare tire to get that out of the way so we can get the bolts out. Now to do that, you go into the back of the car, uh, you lift up this little flap here in the back and you expose where the jack and everything is hidden. Um, you can use the parts that come in your jack kit um, to access this little hole here. This is the screw that lowers the rear, uh, I'm sorry, the spare tire. I happen to have my air tools because I'm in my garage. This is a 14 millimeter screw, at least that's what seems to be working on here. I have my air hammer set to uh, reverse. And let's see if it works. So, I would say that that is relatively out of the way so that we can get up in here. Um, the other things that we're going to do is we want to make sure that each uh, bolt here gets threaded ahead of time. This is going to do a couple of things. A, it's going to make sure that there's no reason for any of these bolts to not go in and B it's going to make sure that with a brand new hitch like this that these threads over here are not full of paint and it just so happens like here here's a perfect example I'm barely getting this to turn this is loaded with paint so I'm actually going to ratchet this in to do that um, we are going to use a three quarter inch socket uh, where's my three quarters right. so three quarter inch and I'm glad that I started doing this because if this is if I'm trying to hold this up in place and it's not going um, you want to know whether or not it's a matter of the threads not being right or in the, you know uh, the bolt being misaligned. You want to know all these things before you before you try to put this in place. And so now we're we've got this in here. Uh, this threaded up pretty nicely. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm going to do that with each and every bolt, just to make sure that there are no reasons for this to not thread. All right, just a little step we're going to do to make sure that we don't run into any extra aggravation when we're underneath the car and space is cramped. Alright, 
So what also comes with this now, so this was okay, I'm glad I did that. Uh, I did not know that was going to do that, although I anticipated it as a possibility. I'm glad it did it for the purpose of the video. Um, these are the bolts that are going to go on to lock down these screws. What these washers, I said bolts, I'm sorry, I said washers. Um, I should have said washers. These washers, these small, thick washers, are going to go onto each bolt, and that's what they're going to use to lock down and keep tight on the back of the hitch. What these flat washers are for are basically shims. So when we go ahead and we pull the bumper fascia away and we move this up into position, if there's a tremendous amount of gap in here, uh, between the frame and the hitch, what we can do is you put these washers in place and you can hold them into place with cellophane tape or uh, I happen to have a roll of, of Gorilla Tape Ta-da! Um, that I'll just put a strip of Gorilla Tape across the front and hold these in place that way I can push this into place. Now they say cellophane because you can cellophane over the top of all these and then just punch through the cellophane with the bolt when you go to thread it into place. So uh, whichever way you're comfortable with holding these in place while you push this up into the uh, against the frame, um, actually tell you the truth now that I'm thinking about it, if I need to use these I will use thick packaging cellophane tape instead of Gorilla Tape because I will want to be able to just make sure that these are held in place and I can punch through them without anything extra gumming up the threads. Okay, so I'd made the initial attempt to put this into place and I sat down and uh, started to put um, this bracket, I'll turn the camera sideways, turn the bracket sideways, uh, put it up against the frame and I noticed that there certainly was a gap. So what I did now is I went ahead and I took these these big flat washers. I laid them in place, took some cellophane packaging tape, nice clear tape, laid them in place, taped them down, and then came back with a screwdriver and just poked these holes so I wouldn't have any problem getting the bolt through. And now what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead now and put this into place and get, get some bolts in it to, to hold it into place and then I'll tighten it down. Let's see if the instructions say anything about any specific torque settings because I was, being that it's a trailer hitch, I was just going to tighten it as much as I possibly can. Uh, it does not. <sighs> Alright. No, it just says tighten them down, put them in place, let the plastic fascia of the, uh, of the bumper rest against the uh, the trailer hitch, tighten it down, put the pins back in place, and then uh, put the spare tire back. So um, so as you can see, this is really a, um, a, a four bolt installation. No drilling required, no tapping re required. All you really need to do, and I, and I put this thing up on a lift just to give me plenty of headroom, uh, would be kind of cool if you have um, lifts because I tell you, with that spare tire out of the way, I mean, look look how much space I have down in here to get up here. and I could sit right underneath here and not have to bend my neck or anything. And I'll just go ahead and pull this fascia. I'm going to have some, somebody come help me. I'm going to pull this fascia up out of the way. I'll put that hitch in place. Bolt into my four bolts, uh, my four screws here. Kind of repeating myself because it's really not that difficult of, a, of an install. And, uh, and I'll be done. All right, so... I just had my helper pull the fender out for me and uh, take a look here if we can. Um, the spacing is nice and tight. I did use the cellophane and once I got these bolts in place, I put a couple in there to hold them tight and I'm just going to snug down on this. Since it's a trailer hitch, I don't think there's any such thing as too tight, as long as you don't risk th stripping the threads on the bolt. Alright, and uh, this is it. Four, four bolts, 
once you get the spare tire out of the way and uh, you've now installed a trailer hitch I'm gonna go ahead and make a second video showing you how to install the uh, the uh, wiring package so enjoy I hope uh, hope the video wasn't moving around too much for my critics who don't like my camera work thank you